Hi gang, this is uh, John from Minnesota. Coming at you today from uh, southern Minnesota. And uh, first vlog in quite a while. I realized today that I had did actually record several vlogs last year, several videos, but never uploaded any to my YouTube channel. Um, so I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna upload those or just go right on to the current stuff. Um, first part of my ride here today is going to uh, show <clears throat> the home of that my uh, second son had, has just purchased and is closing on next week. Um, it's going to be on my right and I'm not quite sure how much uh, you're going to be able to see it. Um, but I will give it a go here. This road has had some construction. Okay, right there on the right, the brick one with a sold sign. That would be where my son Sam will be moving to next week. Beautiful, beautiful home and lot. Uh, very, very happy for him. Of all the homes he looked at, this, I think, was had the best combination of price and uh, work to be done. Although he's very handy, it's nice probably not to have a ton of work to do. Um, so I'm on my way out of town today and I'll, I'll get I might do a second video today when I get closer to the destination uh, but the um, this first busy visit our video is just going to be on some general topics since I have not uh, like I said I've not had a vlog in a while uh, nothing major going on in my life uh, this is Memorial Day weekend so uh, today is uh, I'm going to ride today and then pretty much spend the rest of the weekend with uh, with my wife and family. My uh, son Sam that bought that house is actually in Las Vegas this weekend for a bachelor party. Um, okay, so the, the one, one topic that I wanted to hit today was that uh, Victory Motorcycles uh, is no longer. Uh, the parent company Polaris announced this year that they'll no longer be making Victory motorcycles, which uh, obviously is disappointed. And uh, and but uh, we'll have to live with it. They, they did indicate that they will make parts in, uh, for another 10 years. Uh, so certainly, um, the immediate future, I have nothing to worry about. It's just. My main concern is that whatever point I trade this uh, Victory Vision, that I, I will have to uh, probably pay a little bit of a penalty for the fact that the bike is is being discontinued. So um, I'm going to go on the uh, highway for a while till I finish this video, and then probably jump on I-90 for the next leg. Uh, I had before I, I get into the well the, the Victory thing. Uh, the uh, I had an opportunity to trade this in this bike in last year uh, for a uh, Triumph Trophy, which uh, is kind of the bike that I've been targeting because I do have a desire to get back to sport touring bikes, uh, and uh, the modern ones are probably what they refer to as luxury sport tours. Got to get myself up here into fifth gear. So a luxury sport tour is just one that, as you guys know, has cruise control and heated seats and heated grips and uh, the, uh, the electronic adjustable windshield, um, which I'm going to talk more on right after this. But uh, the Triumph Trophy is also indicated or uh, be rumored to, to be discontinued. So uh, I just got a little spooked and said, <clears throat> I don't want to have go into from one bike to another that is uh, on that discontinued rumored list. In the case with the Victory, of course, it, the rumor turned out to be true. Uh, Polaris itself is doing fine, and their their newest uh, motorcycle division, Indian Motorcycles, is I believe is doing outstanding. So I think they will do fine. Uh, it's just that the Victory line is the one that uh, was suffering, and then and, and apparently did not have the dollars there to uh, to continue. Um, I personally think they shouldn't have necessarily tried to compete directly with Harley. 
Um, you know, I think that if they would just, you know, meeting the behemoth Harley in the marketing game is, you know, is a tough act to do, or is tough. That is definitely something very difficult. Um, speaking of Harley, um, I think the one thing I keep saying to uh, uh, my friends and, and acquaintances and motorcycle and fellow motorcycle people is, I think Harley is dominance. Their market dominance is just so incredible, incredibly strong that it's it's basically wiping out the other lines and the other segments and the other brands even. I mean, I think in America anyway, their their the dominance is just uh, is dangerously close to uh, you know I don't know if you want to say monopoly, but. What, how that affects me is, is again, I personally don't have a desire to own a Harley, so I want to have some other choices such as sport touring bikes. I, I don't believe BMW is ever going to get out of sport touring, but, but Yamaha really hasn't uh, done a major refresh on their FJR, and Honda discontinued their bike, the ST 1300 that I used to own. Uh, and uh, Kawasaki hasn't refreshed their concourse in years and years and years. So, I mean, I think this that sport touring segment is drying up, and, and that's very disconcerting for me as somebody that is currently desiring to get back into that segment. So, so that's an issue for me that I'm grappling with. Uh, I wanted to touch on these electronically adjustable windshield real quick, uh, you know. I think one of the things I enjoy the most is going to the to the uh, Minneapolis Motorcycle Show at the Minneapolis Convention Center, and I, I stand next to usually it's an Indian, and I play with the electronic adjustable windshield button, which I'm going to do right now. As you notice down here, I'm looking, I'm pressing the button, and you notice the windshield is now in its lowest position. That feature is called the electronic adjustable windshield. Not one Harley has that feature. So what happens when I'm doing this at the show is inevitably somebody will walk up to me in the next in the first 15 seconds. What are you doing? Are you playing? Is that windshield moving? I didn't know that they had that feature. And again, because so many riders are Harley riders, they don't even realize one of the most wonderful, great features available on a motorcycle. Uh, they're not even aware that it exists. Sport touring bikes, almost all of them have it. Uh, the Victory Vision has it, which is one reason why I uh, decided to purchase one. So it's, uh, I think it's the greatest motorcycle feature on earth. So I would encourage all of you to, uh, to get one. 